Welcome back. Last week was Bald for Bucks week, and we have some interesting stories for you today. I'm Cade Warner. And I'm Brandon Dillon. Today we start by covering the Bald for Bucks assembly. Last Friday, Rampart held the 17th annual Bald for Bucks. And thanks to all the participants and donations from our fellow Rams, we were able to raise over $40,000, with more funds still coming in. Now let's go to Gavin to take a better look at how it went. Last Friday, March 8th, Rampart held its 17th annual Bald for Bucks fundraiser. The event helps raise money for cancer research, as students and teachers shave their heads to show their support for those whose lives cancer has affected. I'm participating in Ball for Bucks this year primarily because it's a good cause. It's the right thing to do. For 11 years since second grade, I kept doing it so that I could keep raising money to help kids with cancer so they could just be regular kids again and enjoy their childhood. I just think it's important to participate in causes that you feel close to. I am participating because since freshman year I've wanted to shave my head. Bald for Bucks began when a really good friend of mine had cancer, so it's all, that story, her story's always stayed with me. What Bald for Bucks means to me is the chance, the opportunity to be a part of this community, uh, a chance to shave my head uh, in solidarity with those that are also doing it. My grandfather got diagnosed with cancer and I went and visited him. Once, once I found out about that, I was just like, I have to, like it was just like a this is the moment to cut my hair and donate. It, it represents who Rampart is in our hearts, and I love showcasing that, and I love the world knowing who we are. Don't underestimate what a group of really passionate, caring, empathetic people can do no matter what age. In a community, if one person gets affected, we can all come together to help that one person. Ball for Books for me is like just an opportunity for um, not only to find yourself, but to help other people find themselves. Um, and just help out the community. The event has raised over $40,000 this year, with many teachers and students participating. For them, shaving their heads represents something much bigger than just themselves. It's cold, but other than that, it's great. I don't have to do my hair in the morning. It's a little weird sometimes when I look in the mirror, but I really like it. I think it suits me pretty well. Bald for Bucks every year exceeds my expectations, but this year was even further beyond anything I could have imagined. Uh, I think it's pretty, it's pretty good that we can all come together, fundraise money, go to all the sponsors. Oh, I think the event went really well. Um, the assembly was put together nicely. The speakers did an awesome job. I think our students were amazing during it. I just like how everyone is in one place, like all together, like in unity and um, how much love is like in the air at these like assemblies. It's a day of positivity, it's a, ba it's a day of hugs and high fives, it's a day of positive energy in our school. The speeches on it, like Mr. Anderson talking to us and having the entire school or most of the students come down and watch us all shave. Part of it that I love so much is having a hero family and the reason I say that is not because you know we're giving money to this family that obviously is important and we're supporting a family but it's our family it's in our community I think ball for bucks brings the community together by forcing us to think about something bigger than ourselves it just shows that like we are all one like if if I do something it represents everyone if someone else does something in the community it also represents everyone I just think like it just shows like the one love. Mr. Anderson, the man behind Bald for Bucks for the past 17 years, has announced his retirement at the end of this school year. Despite this, he will still help with more Bald for Bucks events in the future. As this is my last Bald for Bucks as a teacher at Rampart High School, um, it's been a humbling experience to see the growth uh, and the way that our community has embraced it. Uh, it has been the privilege of a lifetime to be a part of Bald for Bucks at Rampart High School. Remember Rams, one person can make a difference for their whole community. Thank you to everyone who makes Bald for Bucks possible every year. This has been Gavin Carter, reporting for Gay Ram. Wow, thank you for all the participation this year Rams, and thank you to Mr. Anderson for starting it all. Recently our girls tennis program kicked off its season. Alex Ross has been on varsity since she was a freshman and is now in her sophomore year. Malcolm DeBakes checked in with Alex to see how the season is going. Girls tennis has just recently started up again here at Rampart. Alex Ross, a sophomore here at Rampart, made varsity as a freshman last year and K-Ram wanted to learn more. I play singles one. K-Ram wanted to know more about Alex and her tennis career. I have been playing for nine years. 
So Alex uh, came to us with a lot of tennis experience. She's been playing um, with, um, you know, at USTA um, tournaments, and she's been playing um, at uh, racket clubs. So she came to us with a lot of experience. And when a student has, a player has a lot of experience like that, we challenge them against our other players. And she uh, won, and she uh, came, became one of our top players last year. Alex is such a such a fun person to be around, and her and I have been friends for a long time, and so. We bond really well and click, and so it's just like her personality is so bubbly and live, and so she's such a great attribute to our team to make it um, just a positive environment. Alex helps the team around bonding as she's very like supportive and very like exciting person and stuff, so she brings a lot of laughter and joy to the team. We also wanted to know what the team thought about Alex being a freshman last year on the team. Yeah, um, Alex, you know, our team is very tight. The varsity team itself is only 11 uh, players. So um, they are very close, and Alex has come in as a freshman. She has integrated well. She's a leader. She's mature, and um, she brings a lot of knowledge of the game. So all of those things really help the team be a cohesive team, and she's just been a great addition to the team. I do like being on varsity. It's very fun and challenging. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. It was just, it's just cool to see other people's talent um, be able to shine on a varsity team, and she 100% deserves the spot she's been given. It was really fun. I was a little nerve wracking just because so many like people are older and stuff. But it was nice to have Alex there. You, she's very good, like the best one though. So that was a little tough just because like she was always going to be the better person. But it was really nice and like fun experience. Karim also wanted to know how practices and competitions went. So we practice um, after school and uh, most of the practices are about um, skill training. We do a lot of drills. We also do some matches so they play against each other to get that match play experience. Um, and then we have uh, competitions sometimes twice or three times a week and those um, entail going to other schools. Um, or coming here. Our team is made up of three singles players and four doubles teams. So, um, so that's what's made up of the varsity team. And we have a large team this year. Um, we also have a JV team and a C team. Um, so about 40 girls play tennis here at Rampart, which is pretty exciting. Practices are mostly, so we warm up and then we usually do drills with the coaches and competitions are just, like matches. We just play different schools. So far we haven't had any matches. Our first match is today. Um, but so f like tryouts were smooth. Practices have been fun. Our team looks good this year and it looks like it's going to be a good season. The season's going pretty good. We only had one game so far and it was just like the first game so that was a little rough but so far it's been pretty fun. The team seems lucky to have Alex. We wish the team good luck for their season. This has been Malcolm DeBates, reporting for KRAM. Great job, girls. Good luck on the rest of your season. Next, we take a look at some of our peers. Zanab, Cindy, and Adelia kailich Bakova have a wonderful story they are willing to share with KRAM and our school. Did you know Rampart is home to many exchange students? This week, we focused on Zanab, Cindy from Morocco and Adelia kailich Bakova from Kyrgyzstan. We asked them what their experiences are like in the United States. Um, Kyrgyzstan is a country in Central Asia, bordered with China, Tajikistan, Kazakhstan, and Uzbekistan. And we have really beautiful nature, we have really beautiful, beautiful like mountains. Yeah, so my country, Morocco, is in North Africa. So we have also a lot of diversity, like people and the culture, a lot of food, and it's really good. And we have two coasts, and it's probably my favorite part of, of Morocco, different beaches. Students explained why they're enjoying their time here in the U.S. and what their favorite part of living here is. Um, I like lifestyle here and like schools. So my favorite part about living in the U.S. is mostly the diversity and the different cultures that we can find here. Also, I think people are cool. And I enjoy being here like with my friends. We then asked students if they missed their country. If they did, we asked what they missed the most. Not really, but I sometimes miss my parents, my friends, 
and food. <laughs> I wouldn't say really I get homesick, but I also missed all the events and celebrations that we have in Morocco. So when my family is spending time and I'm not there, it kind of feels bad, but I'm really enjoying time here. We hope the remainder of your exchange year provides you with life lessons and memories to take back home to your country. This has been Maddie Spooner, reporting for KRAM. We have some incredible people here at Rampart. Now, we have a student humor piece about how well students know the world. Let's get this globe spinning and see how much you know about geography. Today we are going to be seeing on how well students and staff know where countries are all around the globe. Gia, would you like to be in camera? Sure. Okay. So today we are going to be guessing where uh, any country is. You ready? Yeah. Okay, where is Sengal? What? Sengal. That's a country? Yeah, without looking at the names, just find it. You're close. It's right there. Oh, dope. Would you like to be in Karim? Four. A student humor piece. Student what? Student humor piece. Uh, sure, I guess. Okay, so today we are going to be guessing where uh, countries are without looking at the names. Kidding, kidding, kidding. Yes, yeah. Would you like to be in Karim? Sure. Okay. So, we're going to be guessing on where countries are without looking at the names. Okay. First of all, where's the UK? Don't look at it. There. Good job. Yeah. We got one correct. Where's Ivory? Ivory? Ivory. That sounds like a European. Try hard just not to look at the names. I'm gonna go with in this general direction. Nope. Right there. That's yep. <laughs> Where is Poland? Nope. You. It's over. It's. It's over there somewhere. Okay. All right. The other one. Where's Spain? Spain. That would be that boot right there. Right there. <laughs> All right. Next. Where's Yugoslavia? Go with <laughs> that one. You're really close. You see that long purple one? This one? Oh, okay. 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 And then where's Russia? Oh, I don't know. Good job. We got one right. Good job. Thank you for playing. Thank you. All right. Last one. It's easier on. Where's Australia? Australia. Australia's right there. Oh, there you go. Hey, look, I'm in the right general direction, okay? You're still a little bit off. If we were in a boat, we'd be like, all right, the left corner, I was wrong. <laughs> okay, last one. Where's uh, Omen? All right. Nope. That's right there. That's close. That's close. Not really. I mean, it's like... That, that's, a, that's, that's pretty far. I could have said it's over here. Caden, you lose. This has been Talon Wright reporting for KRAM. That was hilarious, Rams. We really need to start paying attention in geography class. As we finish up today, we want to give a special shout out to our band. Our Color Guard students earned fourth place at Liberty High School on Saturday, and our Winter Percussion Ensemble placed third at the Winter Guard International Percussion Regional in Denver. The Win Ensemble also got some great news over the weekend as over 50 students have qualified for the Colorado Bandmasters Association State Festival in Fort Collins. That's all we have for this week, Rams. This has been Brandon Dillon. And I'm Cade Water. Have a great week. We have a student. <laughs> Good luck on the rest of your season. That was bad. If you took Mr. Beast and turned him into five cookies, what color would the elephant be? Yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know. There's nothing in my brain. I don't think. What did, what did you have for breakfast? I didn't eat breakfast. If you had breakfast, what would you have? Probably like a bagel.